Welcome to Sunrise Meditation on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Mark the Evangelist. And I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 through 20. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. All glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages, they will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and he took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. All praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel reading, according to St. Mark, is taken from the appearance to the eleven where Jesus gives them the mandate to proclaim the gospel to the whole world and where there is a promise that believers will be able to work wonders, expelling evil spirits, speaking in strange tongues, being protected from harmful elements, and bringing healing to the sick. The reading ends with a brief description of the ascension when the risen Jesus goes back to his Father's right-hand side. St. Mark, of course, through his gospel, has spelled out the challenge for all of us followers of Christ to imitate him in the living out of our discipleship and fulfilling the mission, missionary command to establish the kingdom where God's will is being done here on earth. A question for each of us is this. Am I bringing the gospel out into the world, not only in word, but more so in deed? You know, our first reading from today is from the last chapter of the first letter of St. Peter, and it contains instructions to the younger leaders of the community. The first instruction is that all should be eager to serve each other and to not have something dominating over others. They are also warned to be on the watch for evil forces and to be firm and strong in their faith. They need to realize that their brothers and sisters in faith are suffering in many places because of persecution. But in time, God will strengthen them and put them on a firm foundation. Again, it was through his gospel that St. Mark conveyed this message through his presentation of Jesus as establishing God's kingdom. And also, making clear that every follower of Jesus must identify with Jesus' spirit of self-sacrifice and to share in that spirit. As Jesus accepted his cross and through his death passed to glory, his followers too must carry their cross in order to share in that same glory. 
So here's the question again that I asked yesterday. Am I denying myself? Am I taking up my cross? Am I following in Jesus' footsteps? Have I put on Jesus' sandals and imitated him in word and deed? Something to ponder. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him in friendship. Let us complete a divine reading now with a closing prayer and let us pray. Having co contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoy listening to these meditations, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and help support our channel. And also share these links, pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all, and have a great day.